Everybody, you're back with Joey. Uh, to my left, Eugene Shane Stewart. What, what is that, Irish or what? what Stewart. Why? <laughs> Why? No, take it easy. Calm down. <laughs> but what? I'm just curious. Is it yeah. German? Um, it could be anything. We'll let you in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in. And you're on. Because my buddy over here is going to talk about a project that he's doing. And please, uh, on the break, we were talking... Uh, very loosely and we want to keep it that way so please continue we talked about the title but tell them what it is eugene it's a go ahead because it's a mini it's a, series it, it's a it's a documentary series on las <clears throat> vegas and how the mob ran it and each one of these ser- parts of the show we talked to people that live in las vegas that were a part of las vegas at the time that the mob was running it and they're true untold stories that nobody has ever heard or never even seen the person that told the story so um we kind of go through all that and and find the real stories that really ended up that nobody knows and and lou over there um is Lou over here. His assistant, right his assistant producer on the show. And if it wasn't for Lou doing this project, right, we would not get the people or find the people that we need for this show because over the years of him being a bookmaker in Las Vegas, he ran into all these people either you know through the sports book or outside the sports book. Exactly. So in turn, that's where me and Lou has revolved in making this program. I, that's what I think is just marvelous. But, folks, I do want to tell you one thing, and I tell you from the heart. You know that's how I speak. If the guy wasn't a stand-up guy and a really nice, sweet guy, and you're seeing it today, you ain't going to have no people contacting you. So, Lou, uh, the check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, thank you for the kind words. It's from it's, the heart. It's, it's, and I appreciate that. But... Eugene and I go back to, uh, I did a project a few years back, about three, four years ago, called The Line Makers. Thanks for bringing it up. And, Very good. Uh, and I got to know Lou, uh, Eugene at that time, and we had, uh, The Line Makers at that time, we, we were on Velocity TV. Okay. And it, it was fun to do mm-hmm. uh, with my other bookmakers that I assembled for that project. And then about two years ago, I guess, Eugene, we... I was at an Eddie Money concert down at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Eddie, now, Eddie Money. Eddie is Eddie. a friend of mine. Uh, Cash <laughs> is king. In Vegas. <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> and uh, like I said, Eddie is a friend of mine, and I know him and his family for over 35 years, and they're great people. And I saw Eugene there that night, and Eugene That's actually funny. saw me. I didn't see wow. you, yeah, yeah. but you saw me. And he came up to me and, hey, how you doing? You know, I haven't seen you in a, a two or three years. Yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm watching grandkids. And uh, and then Eugene says, uh, I'm, think, I'm thinking about a project I want to get you involved with. You know, and, Nice. You know, can I have your contact information? Right, right, and, right. Uh, which I gave it to him. And uh, that's how it started. Yeah, yeah. Really, really well, was. Well, that's how things started. And, and, you know, you followed up on it. Now you guys got some things in the can. Which is very yes, beautiful. we do. We have some great yeah, interviews, yeah. great videos that and that I'm Eugene ex- has uh, done. I'm, I'm excited for you, and I'm excited that uh, <clears throat> people. You know, you love mafia movies, mob movies. Come on, I talk to people, and they're like Joey, and the list goes on and on. People love that, so I mean, we want to bring them back. That they're intrigued about it, but we're talking to guys that have been around it. That's what I love, man. Um, but the, but Go ahead. the premise of this, like I said, the whole story of Cassius King in Vegas is is finding the stories again that have not been told and that are true. Because there's a lot of people in this town that after the mob, you know, was running it and everything else, everybody just hushed up because yeah. they didn't want to know people. Because obviously, when they talk the stories, they either going to get whacked. Or they were going to get exterminated, but so they didn't say nothing and they didn't rat their friends out. They so, by, so they take yeah. a little ride. Yeah. Right, right. They, they, you're definitely going to be taking a little ride out in the desert. But um, what is that's, that? Oh man, that's that's that. Is that that guy setting up that thing? Yeah. But um, 
come but, flame. But here's the thing: is is with this, it's we're finding information that now people are talking about, and and the things that me and Lou and and the cast and crew right have have experienced already with some of these. Um, people that were involved in all this exactly. stuff in Las Vegas. They were there. We, we've we got s- some serious nuggets of stories that you've never heard. That we were even, when we were doing the interviews, and we were just like falling over the chair because we found this something that I've never heard, Lou never, never heard. heard of it. Right, we were taken aback. We and that's like, what wow. I'm saying. Like, you know, even with Lou, you're hearing stories. But, I mean, folks, these are stories that really happen the stories you love to hear and you know time uh, stops that today for us but you know we're gonna have the guys back uh, I can you know. tell you one other thing we Please, found, it, we found out one thing when um, and I'm not gonna give it out but we found out some information not from, on me. from no 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 not on me. No, no. Oh, no, from the, no from the okay cut from from the FBI agent and Frank Collada that we found out some information <clears throat> that how Tony really got exterminated. And there's something really secret about what happened before they ended up in the cornfield. But a lot of people don't know this story. Okay, see, that's what I want to say. They they don't know that story. I'm going to find the story out after the show. I'm going to keep it to myself. Omerta, Gabish. You know, it's just going to be my information. But I'm dying to hear that. You're dying to hear it which you're probably going to be able to see it down the road w- with these guys. I want to, before I close with with Lou and, and Eugene, that uh, I had a fun day, man. But the thing is, you know, time time goes so fast. But I just want to close on a few things. Um, have some new special guests coming up in the, in the following rest of April. Um, Isabella is uh, uh, with the uh, French magazine. Um, it's all on my website, my friends. You can see it at www.joeychicconi.com. Check that out. And we have some other guests that, you know, I'm changing things around. I'm, I'm, I'm moving in a lot of directions. But uh, I'm real comfortable when, when I'm with guys like this. We, we always have a good time. I want to give a few shout-outs to uh, Pink Box Donuts. <clears throat> you ever had them? Oh, yeah, they're great. Have you? They're great. No. Uh, I'll take you over there in Summerlin. Uh they got, they got a they got a the special fat Elvis. That's a, exactly what I was going to tell you. No, I didn't mean Elvis. I didn't mean no dis- <laughs> I didn't mean nothing by it. I didn't mean hey, nothing by hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't mean nothing by it. Don't you disrespect me? Stop to say that in here. I know me. people too. Relax. Uh, you know, because I'll buy you. Uh, don't 30, you go over my head. I'll buy you thirty six pink box to donuts. You? Hey, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. You know no, what I do? Sa- no, you hey, said I'll put it. your brain to sleep. <laughs> See, I, this is like what I told you. You don't have to be Italian, but you'll love it. You yeah, see what I'm talking I'll about? put your brain to sleep, you know. <laughs> brain to sleep. No, make yeah. you. Make you. I love it. But anyway. All this over donuts. No, over donuts. <laughs> Pink box donuts. They're great. All right. Summerlin location, Henderson location. Love those guys. Do I have them? Once in a while, like on a Sunday, I'll sneak an apple fritter. Or we do the uh, there's something called a cronut. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the uh, 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 um, what am I having one of these? Uh, senior, what am I having a senior moment here? It's like it's a, a cro- croissant. Oh, a croissant meets a donut. Oh, okay. With that being said, beautiful people, check them out. Um, my buddy coming up now after my show, Mike Fox, Mikey, you're out there, you're listening to the show. All right, we love you. Always supporting me, it means a lot. Uh, we got shows coming up. A lot of big things happening for me. Always stay tuned to my website, Facebook friends. We got new friends, Eugene. We got Lou. What do you boys want to close on uh, on something? I I just want to say this. Um, You know, could you like? Is it something nice or about me? Yeah. No, it's about you. Oh, all right. It's about you. Uh, yeah, we we enjoy me and Lou enjoyed being, and I'm I'm speaking for Lou. Uh, we enjoyed being on uh, Joey's show, and everything. And here it is. Uh, just remember, go to Cash is King in Vegas. dot com. Cash is King in Vegas. dot com. Check that out. You're gonna love that. Starring this man, and uh, you know I'll be seeing you in other things, and uh, we're, we're gonna have fun every Friday. I want to thank Scott over there on the board making some magic happen for me. 
Remember, that opening is always me with Miles Davis. Always check it out. It's Joey Ciccone signing off. WCOBM. I'll catch you next Friday. Ciao.